Hello everyone, I'm Cupcake and today I'm very excited for my first custom clothes tutorial where I will walk you through creating this gothic style dress step by step. And note that for this dress, we only need to use half of the layers, which means that after you create this dress, you can add even more details to it if you wanted to. So let's get designing. Before I continue, let me just quickly mention that if you're not familiar with the Touch of Magic tool yet, I created a beginner's tutorial where I cover all the basics on how to use the tool with examples and tests, so I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested in watching it. Okay. So for this dress, we are going to use the basic long sleeve gown as our template and we're going to use the darkest black color in the palette and from here on, all the motifs that we add for the actual body of the dress will use this color. Okay, let's start adding our first layer, which will be a simple square that will try to mimic our skin tone. The skin tone of my avatar is quite tan, so I will use this kind of orangey tone and I know it's not the same tone, but trust me, we'll fix it with some gradients later. If your skin tone is different, I will still recommend you to use this color and fix it at the end if necessary. Okay, now let's make the square fit our shape with the sphere option under the advanced options and make it as big as possible and we're placing this on the top of the dress. I'm also aiming to put the square at the center so I'm looking for the sleeves to look as symmetrical as possible. It will not be perfect. Okay, something like that. And every time I place something on the dress, I also check that the back side looks as symmetrical as possible. Although for this dress, I'll be covering the entire back, so I'll not worry too much about that. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now let's add another layer, and this will be a big gradient with this light skin tone. Let's turn on the sphere option and make the square just a bit bigger than the orange square. So we're aiming to cover all the orange and keep a small detail on the sides of the sleeves like this. Let's add our third layer, which is the smaller gradient motif, and this will be our transparency on the middle of the body. So make the square fit the body, and the color for this will be the second black, or gray, if you will. Then make it as big as possible, and make the position match the bottom of the other squares. Let's add our fourth layer, and this will be a big gradient, and our last gradient as well. Pick the second black or gray, uh, make it fit the body with the sphere option, and we want this transparency to be at the top. So we'll rotate the square like this, move it up, and make it as big as possible. And let's just make sure that we're kind of in the center. Nice. And we have made our dress transparency with only four layers. I believe just by covering the entire top with these simple squares makes our design so much cleaner and we save a lot of layers and headaches, which is always nice. But anyway, we're not done yet, because the fun part starts with our next layer, which will be a diamond shape that is not in shapes category, for some reason. Uh, but this will be our top cut of the dress, and we want this black. And let's move this in a position we like. For this dress, we'll have transparencies on the top, the arms, but also around the waist, so I will leave some space for that. And there you go. Let's just mirror this so the other side is identical and maybe move them a little bit. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Now let's continue with the details on the top and as we are creating a goth style dress, we're going to use this really fun web from the nature category, of course black. 
let's make it fit the body too and place it on the shoulders. The idea is that when we mirror it on the other side, we get an interesting shape on the front. Don't stress too much to make it look exactly like mine. Just choose a position that you like, because with these irregular shapes, it's very difficult to make something identical. Okay, let's mirror this. And I think I like how these shapes intertwine here at the front, so I'll keep that. Let's add another layer, and this time I will choose a bat. I'll make it black and flip it upside down, and make it a bit smaller, so it's just visible over this triangular transparency here, and make it as symmetrical as possible. Let's add another layer, and this time we're choosing this symbol, make it black, and shrink it so it fits the height of the transparency, something like this. Add another layer, and this will be our last detail for the bottom part, and it will be a triangle. Make it black, make it fit the body, and place it in a way that looks like straps. Something like this, and aim to the center. Now our next layer is to make the waistline a bit cleaner. So we'll use this shape, black color, rotate, and make it fit the body. And just position it in a way that looks like a waistband. Something like this. And take a look at the back just to check that everything looks good there as well. And let me just move these a bit so they look more at the center. Something like that. Another fun detail I discovered as I was trying to cover the neckline with the least layers possible. A bat will be our neckline and you'll see what I mean. So there's the bat. Let's make it fit our body and rotate it a bit, make it bigger and place it and there you go. Our neckline with just one layer. Make sure to always check the back after placing this one though. And we're looking for part of the shoulders to be covered as well, not just the front. And please feel free to let me know in the comments if I'm going too fast with this tutorial or not. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. If you are having troubles following along, I have a beginner's tutorial for Touch of Magic tool that I will link in the description below. So continue on. For the back, I'm not doing anything special, so I'll just place a black square but after this, you'll have a lot of layers to spare, so feel free to add your own flair to it. And talking about flair or flourish? Yeah. For the scared side, I am just going to place a black flourish like this, mirrored and fitted to the body. Just place them whatever you like them. I just wanted something subtle here. Now our next layer will be adding feathers, or at least this is the closest I've seen to feathers. So let's start with the symbol motif, make it the second black or gray, rotate and make it fit the top of the corset like this. Try to make it so the top feathers look like they are picking outside of the corset. And then let's mirror this. We will also add the exact same symbol, but this time we will make it black like the dress. Try to match the position and size of the first one, but make it a bit offset like this and mirror that. We'll repeat the same to cover the interior side of the corset. So the gray first, then mirror and position, then the black mirror and position. And I think this gives it a feel of intertwined feathers, or at least that's what I think. 
I will leave the skirt and the back of the dress simple as we have it, but feel free to go wild because these are the layers we're going to use for this dress and you still have 26 layers to play with. So thank you so much for watching. Give this dress your own touch of magic and I hope you have a very sweet day.